Other than competitive pro-am, I would argue that solo rec is the hardest mode in 2K. It gets even harder if you don't wear a headset. While you do have to play with the randoms who don't have any IQ, you don't have to engage with them if you choose not to. So I throw on my beats, listen to some music, and I go in there and try to get better. And that's exactly what I did with this Steph Curry build. My first three games, I had 41 assists with no communication to my teammates other than occasionally unmuting my controller and saying, hey man, it's a team full of slashers, one of you should probably cut. The best game had 18 assists with no communication in solo rec. And then I played another game yesterday and this is how it was looking in the third quarter. This is how it was looking in the fourth quarter. And this is what it looked like at the end. I had eight assists in the last three and a half minutes. Chef Curry is not just a shooter, and this build is no different. While I can light it up from distance anytime I need to, off the dribble or off a catch and shoot, most importantly, I'm gonna create opportunities for my teammates to be successful because at the end of the day, this is a video game and we are here to have fun. What's going on, man? It's Coach James. Listen, before we get to the build, if nobody's told you yet today, you're dope. Yeah, you. Keep being great out there. All right, so for Steph Curry, you're going to be 6'3", 187, and 6'6 on the wingspan. To start with finishing here, you have to be able to finish inside a little bit, and as you probably know by now, layups are broken. On every build I've made so far, and I've made more than I want to talk about, don't worry about it, I'm making layups with like a 25 to 40 rating. While it's not going to be my primary way of scoring, I need to be able to get downhill and finish effectively if necessary, and this does give us gold giant slayer, bronze slithery, silver acrobat and bunny flow game. You guys can see the patches. This is a fire boom. Get to playmaking here. We have 87 pass accuracy for that bailout, which is very important, especially if you're at mid shot. The lock jumps out at you, you can just dump it right off to your center. Solid badges all around. Silver needle third is real nice. The 92 ball handle gets you any move you want except for the Steve Francis size up, but at the end of the day, you probably don't have 95 either. So if I'm going to be teaching you how to be better, I should be using moves that at least most people with a similar build will have access to. If you have the Steve Francis size up, you already know how to dribble. You're good. You don't need me. Wait, don't leave though. Stick around. 90 speed will all get that Kyrie. Uh, uh, dribble style best in the game right now gold badges right there as you can see listen man maybe i'm an old head but i'm tired of seeing these builds with no defense if you're out there with a full squad you're running pro-am you're running two or three and sitting in the corner fine hide your build but if you're in solo rec or even rec in general you got to be able to play both ends of the court that's my philosophy it is what it is now do you need 87 no 70 would have been perfectly fine but i do like the idea of getting silver clamps and uh, ankle braces with all those ankle breakers we're seeing right now and then we get gold challenger if you drop it even down to 86, you don't get that anymore. And I think being 6'3", going against 6'6", six, six, as the meta, that goal challenge is going to go a long ways. For the physicals, we have 87 acceleration, which is more than enough. Uh, it was either 2K2 to 2K Labs did a great job of testing that already. And it doesn't make nearly enough of a difference to sacrifice anything else to bump that up to 90. Just to feel good about saying I have 90. Most of my builds last year and this year had 85. I did just fine with that. 85 speed is crazy, but I like it. It's necessary with the speed with ball. 60 strength. Listen, 87 perimeter and 60 strength as 6'3". You're not a small guard. You're not going to get bullied very often. I tested 6'3", 6'2". I even went down to 5'9". And I'm telling you, the 6'3s, you're going to get a lot of good body up animations and be able to hold your own on both ends. It's not about how much you can score. It's about your plus minus. And if I'm scoring 30, but I'm giving up 25, I'm only net five points that's not good enough for me i need to lock you down on one end and be a bucket on the other end whether it's me or setting up a teammate for success which is obviously what i would prefer to do every time all right shooting listen let's get to the elephant in the room when i made this steph curry build i went out there and i was not shooting well did i have 41 assists in three games sure 18 and one yeah whatever have i had 10 in every single game yeah you get it you get it but i was clanking clanking one for seven two for six like not good enough from a point guard now it's off the dribble with no badges 84 overall going in there and raw dog and reality and solo wreck but then just when i thought that i i needed to give up on shooting altogether i figured something out i had my shot cue setting on jump because that's what's easier for my point center but then i switched it to push you just release it right before the ball goes forward for me it's easier because of all the different animations and shot timings you're going to have with different dribble variations which by the way i learned how to dribble don't worry old head learns how to dribble video is dropping soon i got you it's not as difficult as you think but that said with all those variants if you have a later shot release it's easier to find that cue and be more successful and i was right out the gate i tried two fades otherwise i would have been six for seven in the first game just switching that one mechanic give it a try test it out let me know if it feels better for you 
Anyways, we got 94 three ball, which is gonna give us gold agent three blinders and dead eye. You only get silver limitless, but listen, I'm not the type of point guard to be pulling up from half court anyways. I'm trying to go for 18 and 20 assists, something like that, as opposed to shooting a half court shot just because I can. It's dope if you can do it to me. And solo rack especially, I'm never getting the ball again if I shoot that and miss it. And we put all that together. And listen, this wasn't clickbait. I really built my version of Steph Curry. And you got Kirk in there because we play defense too. I am not a liability, but I am a little bit of a catfish because it doesn't say two-way even with the 87 perimeter. Let me know if you like this build. I'm going to be dropping a lot of gameplay with it. I got that comeback win from beginning gameplay coming soon. Either way, I appreciate the support as always. And until next time, keep being great.